Now, the, I am showing you the sacrotal region or the sacrotum of a 30 years old male, young. And uh, the bow test is these, uh, this is the sacrotum. Uh, there is fat seen within it, but there is no test is seen within the sacrotal sac. It's empty. And uh, you see, this is the sacrotal sac in front of you. Now I'm moving the probe towards the left inguinal region and in this age I was very lucky uh, he is also that I caught the testes, left testes in this region. This is the left testes. Now this is in the left inguinal region. You can see that it is uh, Yeah, now this, it measures approximately twenty-one by ten millimeter. It's hypoplastic, small in size. The central region is, in fact, suggestive of RT test. Uh, sorry, mediastinum test is. The central ecogenic band, it, here, appears, here it is appearing thick because I have magnified it and I am scanning with a 7 megahertz probe, linear probe, high frequency superficial. Now the interesting thing is see the degree of vascularity within it. No organ in nothing in this region uh, will give you this much of the vascularity to articulate. And uh, this was, and now see the vascularity in this. So this is ectopic, a small amount of fluid is seen in the canal. This is a small amount of fluid on the lateral margin. And it is uh, in fact placed at the lateral margin of the uh, inguinal canal. Small amount of fluid is seen with a little bit of uh, echoes and tiny septa in the in the inguinal region on the medial side, but also at the here lateral side. Now this is the in fact now this is the inguinal region. This is the skin, sorry, and this is the subcutaneous tissue in the inguinal region. And it is only it's only two point mm deep from the skin, and this is a left ectopic inguinal region test is in a twenty years thirty years old male. Right test is, is not visualized in any location, scannable location by ultrasound. Keeping in view its limitation, maybe keeping in view the age of the patient. It has, it has, it has it, um, I mean, it's no more than a scar. So further uh, imaging modalities are required because this is a, a condition which is not possible that it will not lead to some aggressive pathology later in life, God forbid. Thank you very much. This is our case of the day.